Welcome back, Five Aces. Battle control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here, and welcome to part two of the second leg of the semifinals for the RATL Red Alert Team League. We've got our players um, currently, let's see, currently one, two down. Right now, the underdogs in the series, it's gonna be Mr. Dying Fetus and Mr. Widow with their respective smurf names and spawning as France and Ukraine respectively and their opponents as double allies as res uh, respectively Brits and Germans it is gonna be Mr. Morkel, the current reigning vice champion of RAGL and aided by his, par by his partner in crime, Mr. Who Cares as the Germans let's bring it on, the map in question is Pitiless oh, I haven't seen that played also is a different tile set, but I think it might just be a weather overlay. In case you guys don't know weather, weather overlays is something that was implemented by Yellow. I think a couple that was part of his bachelor thesis even. Um, oh, dog and dog gets sniped. That was a sweet snipe build. Wow, very well played. Um, another dog coming out though. So feed is not letting loose here. And lots more infantry coming their way. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is looking like Fetus being overwhelmed. So the general idea behind this is you, you merge your forces with the, with the help of the dog. You merge your forces so you can trade up. That's not what happened here. That was just Fetus going going in alone, playing rogue agent. <laughs> yeah, and as a rogue agent, as is true for, for any rogue agent who is not the main character, gets killed off. Rip. His force is just getting merged. Yeah, just force is overwhelming. That is just basic RTS 101 splitting up against an opponent who is blabbing oh but there might be a backstep onto the engineer target fire oh nice okay loses a lot of infantry for that but ultimately sort of worth it also the oil barrel was a nice touch trying to blow up the oil barrels in the process all right engineer safely can safely exfiltrate at the cost of a couple riflemen oh no the veteran C I think that guy is veteran C2, he would be faster. If he just pressed the attack a bit more, that engineer would have died as well. Another rifle waiting in the wings. Whoa! Forward harvester for who cares? I mean, if it's already dead. That's also something we've seen two series in a row now. Oh, another engineer getting down though. So, no oil income whatsoever for who cares and Morkel. But do they need it? Oh, yeah, there's one Derek here. Wait, at the end of the day, it's just a one Derek advantage <laughs> for Widow. Not that impressive. Not that impressive. And it didn't last very long. Yeah, but nice engineer snipe. So let's check it, check the combat tab here. Wow. Who cares killed a lot of units? I was not aware that it was this many. 2.9k already down the drain. Uh, light tank going into four rockets. Yeah, I can tell you how this story is going to end. Ain't no happy end here. That is more of a Grimm's Fairy Tales type of situation. Medic? Alright, aggressive medic. Throw a couple med kits at him. Mm. Not the best, not the best micro here. Gotta admit, but there's a Grand Rush. Let's see how that one fares. He also sees that, well, Derek hasn't been captured just yet, so he's probably content. Oh no. Why would you go where you know the opponent's entire infantry forces are? Like, that, that puts him on high alert now. This is a dead drop. Mm, no base defense just yet. Takes another five seconds, depending on how fast he is. Targeting sort of the right buildings. Uh, here's the pillbox. That was not successful at all. I think it kicks him into low power, though, at least. Albeit for... Oh, it kicks both into low power for a brief moment, so not... Mm, still not worth it. Yeah, he targeted both power plants at the same time and got them both low, but really not the biggest impact. Just takes 10 seconds to rebuild one of those power plants, even on low power, get back online, rebuild from there. That was just the APC going in with reckless abandon. He honestly should have taken a flanking route, especially the one where he already had a scout position up top, knowing that there wouldn't be any counter scouts. Light tank is now out here. Oh god, the, that can crush. Oh wait. <laughs> Same team. <laughs> the color scheme. 
confuses me with the with the purple being quite similar to the to the black of Pukas or dark blue, I guess. Yeah, little pea shooter action from the light tank. I always love how little damage they do to basically everything. Pew pew pew. I like man also being in chat. Interesting. Okay, that is gonna be a route. That's gonna be a pretty good engagement here for, for Widow. Neat. Dislocates those forces. And oh, almost saves his light tank. Last Zook shot on the way out. The MCV for who cares was quite delayed. He was he was busy microing at the front lines and forgot about his MCV. Had to be pinged. The ping of shame from Morkel. It's like, hey buddy, got something. Ranger nicely dancing around those rockets, trying to get a couple of kills here. Sweet. Gets a veteran C1 as a price. Very well played from Morkel. He has not killed the most units. That privilege goes to who cares, but only for, uh, by about $100. So at the end of the day, the army value is skyrocketing already for Widow. Mine layer? Oh, I really like the mine layer. I think it has... Hmm. Could it have been scouted? No, they haven't been near the base. So this could actually be really impactful because it can kill the first one or two tanks that come in. Yup. That's exactly what's going to be happening. Oh no. Stops dead in its tracks. Well... Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, that one civilian setting off the mine. What a shame. What a shame. What a waste of Soviet taxpayer money. Ah, oh, that is kind of a disappointment. So the refinery gets targeted down, but no harvesters have been lost. This is not the worst just yet. That is to say, the worst is yet to come. I guess. But, yeah. Force is getting cleaned up momentarily here. Okay engagements, okay engagements. Morkel has killed a lot of units though, how, how come? Where else was he active? Was that just the one engagement? He didn't kill too much, right? Just killed a couple tanks, a couple rifles, didn't look too, like it was too much. Hmm, weird. There's a Raider Dome already out for who cares, and Morkel is about to follow. Nice, though! That is a Grenadier flank that really pays off this time around. Medium tank production being disrupted for Morkel. Here we've got a, another stream of, of mediums, followed up by a dense infantry core. Ouch. That's gonna hit really hard. Mm, with a concave, though. Fetus with a good concave can stop this, I think. Yeah, those Grenadiers were really successful. Kill off the service depot, and Morkel is now... Wait! Do we have double service depot? Oh, no, he just rebuilt it, I guess. Nice pin to maneuver from Fetus. Oh, that was sick. Double Ranger is now out for, for Morkel. He's trying to tackle those infantry. Not too successful. That was honestly a nice hole. Uh-oh, there's the artillery, though. Artillery's in the back line from who cares, they're gonna be able to make minced meat out of this army. Standing army from from Widow is depleting rapidly. Take a look at the army graph, he still has the highest army value. By far. But how do you stop this? You need aircraft to get to the artillery or you need just mining tanks. Okay, here's a counter artillery. Has to take good shots at the center of mass here. Oh, the force fire is too far, too far. Too wide. Whoa! Almost gets a counter snipe on the artillery. That was lucky. Okay, and one harvester, two harvesters being killed by this attack here from from Widow. Low power for him though. Oh no. Oh no, the mechanics. Please no. I can stop. Artillery goes down as well. One ore truck going down here, so low for flow being traded. There's a push in the southern hemisphere. Man, this game is chaotic. Lots of engagements on all different angles. So far, it's still looking okay. Oh, this is a map. This is a map thing. Badger here is probably part of the props here on the map. Interesting. The MCB gets saved, though. That's better. 
Fight Flank has killed another two Harvesters. Not too shabby. Quite successful, actually. But... Okay, he needs to get the gem mines. Four full harvesters, gem mines, hell yeah, sign me up. But where did his army value go? Oh my lord! That was just straight up plummeting. That was doing the, the inverse of the corona curve. That just went, that shit went down fast. Exponentially so. All right. Yeah, it's starting to look really increasingly like Morkel and Tukas are going to be able to take this series. With line of sight advantage as well. Double MCV. Why did he go double MCV? Probably was thinking that his original MCV would die in the process. And managed to, to surprisingly save it. Oh no. One artillery completely out of position. Erotic point really isn't good here. Yeah, that has been a problem in game one. And it's, it's still a problem. If we're being honest. Artillery is just pummeling away at this. Fed two artillery, fed one artillery. He's trying to flank, that's really commendable. Ah, oh, doesn't get anything down though. Yeah. The Yax. Sentry Yax in. One strafe and that's all dealt with. And you only need one at a time. That was, nice. that was exactly what the doctor ordered. There is one more artillery to come. Needs to snipe one more artillery, but mm, I, I think. Okay, the curve is slowly starting to recover, but it's looking like Morkel and Fuka are gonna come out on top. Economy? Wow, Fetus is floating hard. But conversely, I think he needs to invest into supply trucks. Supply trucks are your, your safest bet now, right? Just support your broke-ass teammate. Oh, nice melee shot from the artillery, but yeah. The writing's on the wall. There's no other way of phrasing it, another wood truck down here. This game is chaotic, seriously. Tech center. Oh, 20 seconds to the nuke truck. Where would he hit though? It's really risky with the, with the black hawks in the skies from uh, for who cares. If you can park next to the conyard and bait the army into sending in, into moving in, ah, oh, that would be it. He only has one harvester on the on the gems. Two harvesters would actually be better to do the trick more. And Fetus' yaks thus, thus far haven't been very active. Uh-oh, Demo Truck is out. Demo Truck is out and there is a Black Hawk! Okay, AA gun comes out just in time. Uh, that won't have the biggest impact. That is not a great Demo Truck. I mean, it, it is cost effective. But still. But still. Denies one push. Yeah. I mean, it's stifled the aggression for a little bit, so it's, it is worthwhile. There is... Widow has sent a little infantry detachment very far forward. It's gonna be able to do a lot of damage here. Mammoth tanks coming out from Fetus. Can he carry this game? He needs to... Yeah, uh, he needs to take his big backpack. It's big backpack time. Oh, the tech center! Tech center exposed! Yeah, one straight. rat a tat tat Go the chain guns. If he now can snipe the Raider Dome, he would keep air dominance pretty much forever. That would be sick. That was not half bad for... Not half bad for Widow and... And, uh... Dying Fetus. Definitely one of the better holes, but... The economy here. That is the real problem. This is being contested. So... Very terribly kind of economic situation. He's, uh... In an economic downward spiral right now. His Widow. Fetus is also broke. Ouch. Yeah, he's now on one dollar. Minimum wage. Those boys making minimum wage here. Rip. One mammoth tank. Spies. Disguise. The disguise is online. I think he's trying to steal some cash. That is a smart bet. Parabombs are coming in. That could be really good. Baiting him into the mammoth tank. Ooh, this is gonna be sick. It's rid of all the infantry. Some damage on the mediums as well. I, I like that play. That was honestly pretty good. But the mammoth tank is just got, getting out muscled here. Tusk missiles won't be saving this. I mean, the mediums are also getting taken care of. Slowly and steadily. Ooh, yikes. That was unnecessary though. Tier 3 is online for Widow. 
He's France, so can we see some face transport Tanya action? That would be a safe bet. Face transport Tanya would be really good onto the Conyard here. That's exposed the Raider Dome, but the entire tech tree here is exposed. Well, there is a world in which I can see a face transport play happening here. Does Widow have the cash to su support it? He does. But conversely, Super Fetus is running on a government mandated minimum wage still. It's looking quite tough for him. Oh, anti air gun. Oh, one heli down, another one almost biting the dust. And gearing up for a big push is who cares. With some port, that's probably. Yeah, that's gonna be a pillbox. Uh oh. That does spell trouble. That pillbox is a problem. Provides line of sight onto the enemy artillery. We do a bit slow to react here. Iron Curtain is out for Dying Fetus plus another demo track. Oh no. Oh no. If the Black Hawk ever finds this, this entire army is missing. Miss. Also, the demo track would be much needed on the other side of the map. Attack move is being issued. They're doing their best. Crushes are good. Those crushes were stellar. Wiping the entire infantry forces off the map. Wow, only the tanks remaining after that. Oh, demo track goes down. Didn't do too much. Killed uh, the advancing forces from Morkel, but that was like two tanks, a helicopter or something. Not the most impressive. Tanya's out. I report, we, we have a Tanya situation here. She's safeguarding the Raider Dome for now. She needs a base transport to be paired up with, if we're being honest. Raider Jammers? No. Raider Jammers are not the right answer because Morkel is really reliant on medium tanks. And they're just a liability against, against mediums. What? What does he even have? What does Widow have? Nothing. He has nothing to his name. Yeah, now it's just sending... Those vehicles are expensive. They've got heavy armor, but they don't have the highest health pool, so they just die very, very quickly to those kinds of shenanigans. Okay, Tanya from Vukas was a bit inefficient. Yeah, that, that rally point from the racks is also something very questionable. There is two minutes, uh, one minute 30 in the Iron Curtain. Morkel is building a missile silo, because why not? Yeah, really, that Raider Jammer was just a dead investment. That was, you know, it's, it's like someone someone promising you one of those business opportunities on YouTube, how it's happening nowadays all the time. I will get you rich in just two seconds, just follow those easy steps. Make millions from the comfort of your home by selling drugs. <laughs> Don't do that, by the way, just a PSA. Uh, Alright, the MCV survives for a brief time. In comes the sweeping squad. Oh, the sweeping squad. I like, I like. Me likey. Well, that was nice, but I don't even have the cash to repair this. Yeah, Fetus needs to build more demo tracks. He's only got the mammoth tanks. And it's looking increasingly like there's just no gas left in the tank. It was. Speaking of gas, uh, if you know the Irish or the Gaelic, I guess, uh, word gas, it's been a lot of gas, uh, which which means fun. That always got me confused. I um, I used to have an Irish girlfriend a couple years back, and she always uh, she always taught me about gas in fact, which is Gaelic for fun. Uh, both are like Gaelic Gaelic words for fun, I guess. And it got me so confused when she was talking about let's have some crack. And I was like, yo, what kind of crack are we talking about here? Oh, Texan are being Iron Curtain. That was some hype play. Holy cow. And the Tanya from the back lines. Oh, Widow, you monster. She gets sniped eventually though, but damn. That was... Can we get a replay cam on that, please? Cameraman. And JK. Oh, Tech Center goes down now, Tanya goes down. That, that was a very cost efficient hold though. Seriously. That was 10 out of 10. Oh, damn. What a game. Mammoth tanks unfortunately don't have the comfort of the Iron Curtain anymore. Uh, what he wants to do here, uh, he shouldn't have lost those. He should have double tapped his weapons. Would have been easily able to kill the, uh, to kill the rocket soldiers as well. 
on the other side, a lot of infantry advancing here. GG well played being issued, teams being really good mannered, I like when there's a good old good mannered chivalry here in terms of esports, professional esports kappa. No, that was a really great series. I think it was all casted live by Caution, yeah. Looks like it, so watch the live VODs of, on Caution's channel if you're interested in that. And that was a pretty insane series, especially the last game was just a non-stop assault uh, from both Morkel and who cares. And basically no breaks were granted to, to Fetus and Vito. Really nice hold, really nice try and great demo trucks. Also, gotta just commend him for that MCBs and Tech Center safe with Tanya from the back lines. That was some stellar coordination. Too bad it got shut down eventually. Yeah, that was a very enjoyable series. With that, we're gonna be seeing uh, Morkel and Who Cares in the finals against Happy and Goat. I'm really, really looking forward to this. This is gonna be our cast for next week. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Five paces out. Battle control terminated.